to a new video thank you so much for clicking on today's video my name is Nora and I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you stick around and subscribe as we continue to grow our community um, and be sure to like and comment as well and tell me your favorite part about this video once you are done watching it um, and follow me on my socials as well I'll have them up on the screen um, so we can stay connected so yeah by the title you can tell that we are doing a hair wash day finally I love my hair wash days like I just feel like such a rejuvenated person whenever I wash my hair um, I don't even know if I want to show y'all what my hair is looking like right now um, it's giving very crusty dusty musty hair um, I've just been wearing it in like a low bun um, so it still has like dried up gel in there and all that nasty gunk and stuff so so excited to be doing this hair wash day let me put this back on for I scare y'all and scare you off my page <laughs> um so we're doing a, <clears throat> a hair wash day and i'm going to be showing you my routine um the products that i use how i use them how i wash my hair and all of that my hair routine is actually very simple i use like about three to four products in total um a shampoo a conditioner foam or gel depending on the style cayenne cayenne I use, um, like I said, shampoo, conditioner, foam, or gel, depending on the style that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to walk you through how I do that. Um, it's pretty simple. And I will have the links to all the products that I use, the tools that I use, etc. down below. Um, for reference, I have um, what you would consider like a tighter curl pattern. Um, so like kinky, coily hair. I don't use the hair classification system that a lot of people use, like 4C, 4B, whatever, because the history of that is low-key racist. Um, so I just say that I have tighter curls, um, and you'll see it when I like get my hair wet and all that stuff. Um, but it actually varies, like around my head. Like all the curl patterns around my head are not the same. I have some patterns that are a little looser, like at the back of my hair, and then I have some that are more tighter, um, which is interesting. But it's pretty normal um, to not have the same curl pattern all throughout your head. Um, what else? I would have what you consider <clears throat> like thicker, um, more like dense hair. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you all how I do my hair wash routine. And I hope that you enjoy. And if you're interested in seeing how I do that, then stick around for the rest of the video. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So starting off with my first step, which is to saturate my hair with water as much as possible. This really helps to remove any excess product that may be lingering and hydrate my hair in the process. I like to really just spend my time here and split the sections to really make sure that all parts of my hair are soaking wet and really just drinking up all that water before shampoo. Next, I'm going in with my clarifying shampoo. I normally use Quantum's clarifying shampoo, but I did run out, so I'm trying Wave for the first time and using their Desox shampoo as my clarifying step. I always make sure to clarify my hair first every time I wash it to remove any product buildup, oil, and dirt. So I'm just emulsifying the product and then spreading the shampoo in opening sections to ensure I'm really getting my scalp. You may have also noticed that I've been stroking my hair in a downward motion only and not scrunching it up. This is because it really helps my detangling process and I do this during each step so that my hair is smooth and easier to detangle. do at least two rounds of shampoos so next i'm going in with my moisturizing shampoos my usual favorites are ag balance or innocence hydrating cream hair bath for thick hair 
but I did want to try another whey product so I'm using their shampoo for thick hair today. You always want to make sure you're using a moisturizing shampoo after clarifying just because it can be harsh on the hair and leaving it feeling stripped and stringy. So a moisturizing shampoo helps to replenish that balance. And so far I'm really enjoying this whey shampoo and I definitely feel like my hair is super soft and supple afterwards. I love the thick and creamy consistency of it and I love how moisturized my hair feels afterwards. Here's a quick look of how my hair looks after shampooing. Healthy, soft, and bouncy. I definitely think quality ingredients make all the difference. So on to the fun part. Conditioning is next and I'm using Innersense Hydrating Cream Conditioner for thick and coarse hair. Absolutely love this conditioner and how it leaves my hair feeling bouncy and soft. I split my hair into six sections starting with down the middle and clipping up one side, then splitting the other into three sections and starting at the front. I always soak each section with water before applying the conditioner. Our hair is hydrophilic so it loves water and saturating my hair before conditioner really helps to work the product into my hair and I'll know my hair is properly hydrated when I hear this squishy sound. The conditioner is going to seal the cuticle and make the hair soft again going in downward motions to smooth the hair and make the detangling process easier. Next is detangling and I'm using the Felicia Leatherwood Detangle Brush starting off at the ends and working my way up once that section is detangled. I'm not sure if it makes a difference but I do like to start off using the brush vertically like I'm doing here just to really get in those tangles and then once it's detangled I can alternate directions. Once I finish a section, I twist it up loosely and clip it up so it's not in the way and then I move on to the next section. I'm going to saturate this section again before going in with the conditioner and then really working the conditioner into my hair for a few minutes before I go in with the detangling. If I come across any knots like I did here, I try to hold my hair close to the root and go gently and slowly as possible just to avoid any tugging and make it a lot easier to get rid of. Remember earlier I mentioned that some parts of my hair had a looser curl pattern than others? As you can see, this is an example of a curl on the left side being looser than the curls on the right. Totally normal, but I think it's pretty cool that my hair can be so versatile. Finally, we get to rinse all that conditioner out, starting on one side first. I don't let the conditioner sit in my hair for hours. After I'm done with my last section, the conditioner has already sat in my hair long enough. Our hair is only going to absorb what it needs, so unfortunately the rest is going down the drain. So my days of cleaning the house for hours with conditioner in my hair are long gone. So I'm just going to open up the sections again and ensure that I'm getting all that conditioner out. Alright y'all, so we are done washing my hair. I feel like a brand new woman, like I kid you not. Um, I started washing my hair like 1040. Um, it's currently 1253, but I stopped washing my hair like around 1145. So it normally takes me about an hour or so, or like really like 45 minutes to wash my hair. Um, Cause obviously I still like have to shower and stuff and I just did like my skincare and body care routine and stuff. So. Yeah, um, pretty quick, simple routine as you can see. Currently just have it up in this microfiber towel. Um, the brand is Volo, I'll put it in the descriptions. 
I love this towel. It's so easy to, um, you just put it over your head like this. Then you wrap it and then this comes up. Then you put it in like this little band and it just keeps it in place. Oh, and it just keeps it in place like that. Super cute, love it. Um, so yeah, I'm about to um, just do like simple um, flat twist, like have my part in the middle, two flat twists on the side, just cause I'm not really going out anywhere special this week. So I just kind of want to have something simple that I can just kind of wear and leave the house um, without doing too much. So I'm about to show you how I do that. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, I'm not about to go into detail about how I do flat twists. This is not necessarily a flat twist tutorial. Um, but just showing you kind of like what I do after I wash my hair and I'm just looking for like a super simple style to just kind of be in and out. Um, so yeah, I am going to be using my Nairobi foam. Absolutely love this foam. Um, it's a wrap foam and love this brand. Got two of them to have on deck. Um, I get them at my local beauty supply for $12.99, so $13 um, for each. Normally, if I do a twist out, braid out, whatever, um, I will use foam always. And then if it's like a wash and go, which I rarely do these days just because I feel like I haven't really perfected it and I just don't want to be out here looking crazy um, until I learn how to properly do a wash and go. Uh, but when I was doing it, I was using Innersense I Create Hold. Um, as you can see, I love this brand. Um, their shampoo, conditioner, gel, all their products are so good. They're botanical ingredients, um, so they're good for your hair as well. Definitely top tier brand. Um, and then I'm just going to use like my rat tail comb to do like the parting. Then I got my little spritz spritz here um, to wet my hair again um, if I need to. But yeah, I'm just going to show you all how I do that really quick and let's get into it. Have my hair looks um, freshly washed, conditioned, detangled, all that good stuff. Um, it's so fluffy, soft. I love all the products that I use. Um, I also showed the two new products that I've been using, which is Way. I've never used their products before, um, but I got their detox shampoo for clarifying. I always clarify my hair um, before I go into my moisturizing shampoo, just because. You know, I work out multiple times a week, um, so it's just good to kind of get all that gunk and stuff out of your hair. And then always, always go in with a moisturizing shampoo, please. You do not want your hair stringy and dried out because sometimes clarifying shampoos can be pretty harsh. Um, so yeah, always go in with the moisturizing shampoo. And I always wash my hair at least twice, so I do two rounds um, and conditioner on soaking wet hair, detangle it. Um, also, the brush that I was using in the video is the Felicia Leatherwood brush. Um, also, we'll link that there as well. Um, but yeah, top tier when it comes to detangling my hair. Um, so yeah, this is what it's looking like fresh out of the uh, shower and all of that. Um, I really want to get a curly cut um, to give my hair some more shape because right now it's just kind of doing that. Um, so yeah, if you know of any good curly specialist, curly hairstylist in Atlanta that can get my shape together, um, I would love to hear your suggestions. So please comment below and let me know. Um, I have some that I may check out. Um, I just want to look at their portfolio again and really see if they um, can kind of give me the shape that I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, this is how it's looking. Freshly washed. Um, and all of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and part it down the middle and then do the two flat twist on the side here. So let me show you how I do that. So 
So I'm gonna try to do the back um, and get it as straight as I can. Um, but also not trying to be super neat, just trying to have it somewhat symmetrical. Um, so I'll just use my mirror to kind of see what it's looking like in the back. And that is straight enough for me because I'm not going to be doing too much. So yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and start doing the flat twist. Um, and I will zoom in to kind of show you all how I do that in, in terms of like my finger technique um, and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. went ahead and applied the foam um, on all sections just kind of splitting the hair and applying it there as well like I mentioned earlier I have some parts of my hair that is like a looser curl as you can see um, this section here is a lot looser than like some of my other sections that are a more tighter curl so just kind of working that in and then I'm just going to detangle a little bit with my Wash. Okay, so this is how it looks um, detangled again with the foam in it. And I'm just going to apply a little more foam at the roots here just to ensure everything is flat and then just applying it at the back as well. I am going to use just a little bit of my I Create Hold um, Inner Sense Gel just for my edges just to make it a little bit more sleek. Um, I'm not expecting it to have like a super strong hole because I already have foam in here, but just to kind of pull it back and make it look a little neater when I do my flat twist. And then just taking my rat tail comb to brush it. Okay, so like I said, um, this is not a tutorial for flat twist. <laughs> this is just how I do my flat twist, especially if I'm in a rush and I'm just kind of um, looking to do something super quick. So I'm just going to start off with a small section here. Um, excuse my rat tail comb to part it a little bit. And then I'm just going to go right in. So that is how I do my flat twist. I um, have a bit of foam, so I'm just going to take my white towel and just kind of press on it to get rid of the excess foam. And yeah, so pretty simple. Um, I don't try to do it like super neat and tidy. 
um, just something to kind of have my hair pulled back a bit and have it look a little neat. And it's also just a cute, simple little hairstyle um, if you're not looking to do too much. So here's just like a close up of how it looks. Um, don't pay attention to the side. It gets, I, I get a little lazy when it comes to that. So, um, but yeah, just something simple. And I normally just kind of put it in a bun anyway. So that part doesn't really matter that much. So yeah, just the same thing um, on the other side. So let me show you how I do that. I try not to have my hair like soaking wet when I do it. Um, just because I don't want it to take forever to dry, especially having thicker hair. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead again with my Nairobi foam and pump that sucker out. Okay, I like to start off with a good amount saturate it and then start to work it through i just love how lightweight this foam is and it also smells nice um i've used quite a few foams mousses before and i found that some of them are a little too sticky for me or they don't really give me the hold that I'm looking for but Nairobi is an OG classic um, when it comes to foams okay so just finished detangling that a little bit Gonna go in with the Eye Crate Hold Again by Innersense. Um, and the reason why I also like this gel is because it doesn't flake. Um, even if I leave it in my hair for days, like I said, I normally will use it if I do a wash and go. And obviously with wash and goes, you don't want to use a gel that flakes anyway. So yeah, it's really good for non-flaking. Okay, so just finished on that side. Again, gonna just pat down excess foam and just kind of squeeze it a little bit just so it's not too much. Um, Cause I'm about to go do some errands. Normally, if I'm not too lazy or if I don't have to head out really quick, I will go sit under my hooded hair dryer, which I'll go grab in a second and show y'all what it looks like. But um, if I'm kind of in a rush, I'll just use my handheld blow dryer. So let me go grab that and show you how it looks. Okay, so this is my ginormous hooded hair dryer that I will normally use um, if I just want to sit and have my um, hair dried under um, the heat. So this is the um, Kiss or Red by Kiss 1875 watt hooded hair dryer. Um, I got it on Amazon. I will hopefully try to find the link. Um, it should still be available, but this is essentially like a tabletop hooded dryer. You put it on like a tabletop and sit under it. It opens up like this. Um, and then this kind of like expands and then you have like the heat settings and stuff. Um, and the turn knob there that you can kind of adjust. So yeah, that's normally what I use if I'm kind of just sitting around um and i want my hair to dry without having to hold my hair dryer since i do have to head out somewhere i'm just going to use my handheld dryer this very old crusty hair dryer um it's helen of troy gold series i haven't gotten a new hair dryer because i don't really use hair dryers unless i'm like blowing out my hair to go get braids but other than that i don't really do like blow out hairstyles on myself so i haven't invested in a new one so keep your comments to yourself about my little dusty hair dryer. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to use this to um, just dry the hair down a little bit and kind of get rid of any other excess foam um, and then help the drying process later on so it's not too wet when I go to bed. So yeah, so I'm just going to use the hot setting on low. Um, I'm not going to apply it on my hair too long, just a little bit of heat. Um, 
to kind of help with the drying process later on, like I said. So, if it'll work. So just like that, quick and easy. Um, so this is how it looks in the back. Um, again, mind your business because I'm not trying to have it look neat. This is going to be going up in a bun anyway. Um, but yeah, that is my hair wash routine, my typical weekly hair wash. Um, yes, I wash my hair every single week. Um, I just find that it helps with, you know, just keeping my hair hydrated because um, really the only way to hydrate your hair is to put water in it. Um, so I wash it every week and then obviously with being active and stuff, it's just a healthy um, routine that I like to keep up and just kind of have it feeling nice, neat and clean. But yeah, that is it. Um, like I said, I will have all my products linked in the description below, most of which you can pick up like either at your beauty supply or like Ulta um, is where I got like my whey shampoo conditioner and then I think they have some Innersense products. Don't think they have... Well, they might have the shampoo actually at some locations. Um, but yeah, I'll have all that linked below as well if you're interested in trying any of these products. Like I said, please let me know your recommendations for a curly hairstylist, a specialist in Atlanta. I would love to see if I can find one. Um, I've been wanting to get a curly cut for a while. Just haven't found someone that is giving me what I need. Um, but if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear it. Um, but that is all. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe and join the community as we continue to grow. Um, follow me on my socials that I will have linked up on the screen here as well. And be sure to like and comment. Tell me your favorite part about this video. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video.